If you do this, the focus of hatred may shift to those responsible for unleashing biological warfare, leaving corporations free to experiment with human evolution. Are you sure this is your choice? So be it then. Saraf was right about one thing. It's in our nature to want to rise above our limits. Think about it. We were cold, so we harnessed fire. We were weak, so we invented tools. Every time we met an obstacle, we used creativity and ingenuity to overcome it. The cycle is inevitable. But will the outcome always be good? I guess that will depend on how we approach it. These past few months, I was challenged many times. But more often than not, didn't I try to keep morality in mind, knowing that my actions didn't have to harm others? Time and time again, didn't I resist the urge to abuse power and resources simply to achieve my goals more swiftly? In the past, we've had to compensate for weaknesses, finding quick solutions that only benefit a few. But what if we never need to feel weak or morally conflicted again? What if the path Saraf wants us to take enables us to hold on to higher values with more stability? One thing is obvious. For the first time in history, we have a chance to steal fire from the gods. To turn away from it now, to stop pursuing a future in which technology and biology combine, leading to the promise of a singularity, would mean to deny the very essence of who we are. No doubt the road to get there won't be bumpy, hurting some people along the way. But won't achieving the dream be worth it? We can become the gods we've always been striving to be. We might as well get good at it.